So what's up guys, we're going to do a shoulder workout today, uh, we're here in Oklahoma City again at the YMCA and uh, just going to run you through everything that we're doing for this contest prep. Still sitting at seven weeks out uh, to the Branch Warren Classic 2018, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do what we do, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with some shoulder press on the Smith machine and uh, we'll just carry you through it, so here we go. and get a good warm up in. Uh, usually I'll grab 10 pound dumbbells and uh, do about 12 to 15 reps of these guys here and then about 12 to 15 reps of these guys here. Be sure and uh, warm up the rotator cuff muscles. And uh, so we'll do probably four sets, five sets of this. Uh, we're not super steady shoulders with any other body part. They get their own day. So uh, we'll try and get them nice and fatigued and uh, get some good blood flow to the muscle. to rep schemes for this. Same thing as uh, what we did with the arm workout. Um, try and push it on certain exercises, especially in the beginning. Uh, go a little bit heavier, uh, maybe looking to shoot for uh, rep scheme six to eight reps, something like that. And then as we progress throughout the workout, we'll go ahead and kick things up a little bit higher, uh, go a little bit less weight. Usually I like to push it a little bit on this exercise because we're fresh and it's first. So. Uh, but again, just trying to listen to the body. Still down to 50 grams of carbs a day. And uh, so just trying to do what we can to stay injury free and uh, push through each workout. grips on this. Usually I'll come in and put my pinky on these threads here, on these outside threads. I'm going about right here. Um, everybody kind of does it different, just find out what works for you. I'd avoid staying in narrow or anything like that. So, 
you know, maybe pinky or ring finger on these grips out here, on these threads. And really focus on getting a good squeeze in the shoulder at the top of the movement. shoulders before triceps. Uh, yesterday we did our arm day, so we're doing shoulders after. So the triceps are a little blown out from yesterday, which is great. Um, so what we'll do is, we got this weight on here, we'll go ahead and hit this for maybe four or six, something like that, and then pull off some plates, hit it for what we can, pull off some plates, and hit it for what we can. Normally I do that at the end of the workout, but lately I've been doing it at the beginning for shoulders, and it's just a really great, great way to get the blood flow to the muscle, and uh, then we'll proceed to the workout from that point. that set we're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty fatigued already so we're gonna go ahead and hit this set and we'll pull some plates off do it again and uh, finish up with our shoulder press here Pull some plates off and do it again. tonight uh, my coach Andrew actually awarded me a cheat meal for the first time which is amazing so I'm really happy about that he's really pleased with the progress that's been made uh, over the last nine weeks so uh, I get to have some sushi tonight I'm excited about that and uh, so I'm sure my body will appreciate that too get some carbohydrates in there will be good The shoulder workout is pretty high volume, so we got to pace ourselves and make it through the end. So we're going to do some lateral raises, seated. Uh, got some 25-pound dumbbells. Really not worried about how heavy we're going because we got a lot to get through. So uh, we'll do maybe four sets, five sets of these, and uh, focus on getting a good pump.
nothing like working out on vacation. The family and I just took a trip to San Antonio and you know, it's always important to look ahead, find out where the gyms are, pack your meals, cook your meals, take your meals. So, you know, we're in Dallas right now for me to be in chiropractic school and right now we're up in Oklahoma City visiting for the weekend. So it's always important to find out what gym you're gonna hit up, stay consistent, be consistent. It's tough, but it's worth it. Shout out to my uh, videographer and filmmaker, my brother Cameron Babcock, for being behind the camera and uh, shooting these videos. I really appreciate that. Be sure and check out his stuff. Big shout out to my coach, Andrew Vu. Appreciate all his help. Couldn't do it without you guys. What are we doing now, Kyle? So, now we're gonna do about four sets of dumbbell press. I'm not gonna go super heavy with these because this is our third exercise in. Um, we're just gonna focus on uh, tearing up these shoulders in a good way. So, maybe uh, do like four sets of 10, something like that. Uh, kind of depending on how we feel, so.
get it. So a uh, quick shout out to all you chiropractors out there. As you guys know, I'm in chiropractic school. Uh, all of you athletes that are looking to get put back together, be sure to find a chiropractor near you. Uh, grateful for my dad, he's a great chiro. In Oklahoma City, Dr. Brent Babcock, who always puts me back together. So, uh, for those of you that are athletes, be sure and find a great chiropractor to get you put back together. And then for those of you that aren't athletes, find a chiropractor to put you back together because uh, life beats us up sometimes. So, uh, any questions about health, fitness, nutrition, chiropractic, be sure to hit me up on my Instagram at kbabcockchiro. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, I'd love to see the comments and questions that you guys have. So. We're going to hit some rear delts now. Uh, rear delts have always been a weaker point for me. I think everybody's happy to work anterior delts and middle delts, but then when it comes to posterior or rear delts, sometimes they lag behind a little bit for me. So now we're going to do some, uh, some rear delt raises, uh, bent over, see if we can build these puppies up. super light on these. There's a bunch of different variations of this exercise. Just find something that works for you. You can do these on the cables, you can do them with barbell, you can do them with dumbbells. Really just find something that works for you. But we're going to go super light and maybe hit up like four sets of 10, four sets of 12, something like that. about this exercise it's really good for getting a nice burn in the deltoid and really kind of blow things out toward the end of the workout it's really make sure that when you come to the gym you're being efficient working hard getting things done 
that's the whole reason we're here. So. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out this last uh, exercise for shoulders here. Four sets, four sets of 10 to 15 with some lateral cable raises. Just change up the resistance a little bit, a little super light, and uh, really try and fatigue these shoulders. Uh, it's been a good workout today, and uh, looking forward to what we're gonna bring, what we're gonna bring the next uh, seven weeks of prep. Uh, again, looking forward to the Branch One class on June 30th, 2018. Be sure and leave your comments, questions below, and uh, appreciate the support from you guys.
that's going to wrap it up for our shoulder workout. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, big shout out to my brother, Cameron Babcock, uh, great director and uh, videographer. Be sure to check out his stuff. Uh, thanks to my coach, Andrew Vu. Uh, I couldn't do it without you, buddy. Uh, be sure to check him out. Uh, hit him up if you're interested in a successful contest prep. Uh, be sure to hit me up on Instagram, kbabcockcairo. I'm happy to answer any questions uh, and read the comments that you guys have. Thank you so much for the support, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.